right on along the wall. Jalen, you've, you've talked all year about over here wanting to have the big matchups show that you can lead the way defensively. You have the big matchup to start this game with Luka, but you also, on the other end, were able to play within yourself while being aggressive. How difficult is that balance on the biggest stage to have those responsibilities, and how much do you relish that? I think it's a full team effort. Um, and, you know, Luka Doncic still at 30 and 10, you know, so got to do a better job. Um, but, you know, it's a full team effort. And, you know, tonight I got lucky a few times, but we got to get ready for game two. Left side here in the second row. Jalen, what stood out to you most about the performance tonight from the group? What did you what did you like the most about the way you guys competed? I think defensively, I thought we were um, we made some big time plays. Um, when they cut it to eight, you know that's when the game started, and uh, I liked how our team responded. Um, we stayed composed um, offensively. We got to our spacing and was able to push that lead back out and made some plays on offense. Um, that was a big third quarter. Uh, on the left side here in the back. Hi, Rich Thompson, Boston Herald. Jalen, what were you feeling at the end of the third when you rejected Kyrie under the basket and then went down the court for the big three-point shot? What was I feeling? Um, you know, just trying to make some plays, um, get my team going. Um, defense is what, you know, we got to hang our hat on. And uh, right there, that was an example of that. Over in the back right, Jake. Jalen, along those lines, from like a typical seven-footer standpoint, like Kristaps is supposed to be the, the backline rim protector anchor of this defense. What's your thought process as you're trying to go up and contest a drive when you're in the back line there? It just depends. It just depends on who you're on. It just depends on um, the spacing of the game. Um, and we got to be able to make plays. And um, right there, um, it was just, you know, I was a low guy. I was on some of those bigs. Um, you don't want to give up lobs. That's one thing that we made an emphasis on. So I don't want to step up too much and give those lobs. But, you know, I was able to cat and mouse a little bit and then make some plays at the rim. John on the back left. Jalen, John Corrales, Boston Sports Journal. Um, when you guys lost that lead, you know, it gets down from 29 to 8. What's going through your head? Um, we've, we haven't seen this level of response maybe in the past, but this year you guys have been able to kind of turn that around a little bit. Uh, what goes into that kind of response? That's the game right there. Um, it's going to be, it's not going to be perfect. It's a long series. I expect them game two to come out with tremendous force and maybe try to hit us in the mouth. So, you know, that's the game. You know, when a team goes on a run, you got to, you got to manage it. Um, you got to stay composed. Um, and you got to keep playing basketball. It's almost like you just have short term memory a little bit like the team's not even on the run. You got to play smart basketball um, and, you know, make great plays um, to get us on a get our flow back. And I think in that third quarter, you know, I got to the free throw line. I think that helped us get going. And we made some reads. I made a kick out to the corner. Al got a three. We was able to get some good offense going. But uh, getting to that paint, being solid, being composed was uh, what allowed us to push that lead back out. Steve in the front right. Steve Buckley from The Athletic. Uh, Jalen, back to the eight-point uh, deficit uh, lead. Joe said something like he – we asked him what he said during that timeout. He said, I talked for 30 seconds. They were on the bet. They're talking for two and a half minutes. So I guess what I'm asking is what did Joe say for 30 seconds and what did you guys say to each other for two and a half minutes? Um, we just said just breathe. This is the game is starting now. Just breathe. We're, this is a moment where, you know, our experience – um, shines through. Just breathe. Just keep playing basketball. If you got a if you got a shot that's open, take it with confidence. You know, no turnovers. Take care of the basketball and just play our game. You know, we got to get some stops. They made some big shots, um, and you know, just navigate the run. That was it. Tim standing on the left. Tim Bondos from ESPN. Jalen, a couple of years ago, you guys were obviously in the finals. Now you're back two years later. The two biggest differences are having Drew and Chris Tapps here with you guys. How much of an impact did the two of them make tonight, and what did they show in terms of the differences they've made to your team over the past year to get you to the position you guys are in? Yeah, two great additions between Chris Tapps and Drew. And any given night, it could be any of us, you know. And uh, Chris Tapps had a monster game for us. Just his 
um, presence shooting the ball and him able to uh, attack those switches and mismatches. He he uh, made him pay every time, and that's what we need going forward in the series. Chris Tops was big, um, but those other guys, Derek White, Drew Holiday, um, JT, they all can get going at any point in time. So that's the beauty of our team. We just got to, you know, every game has its own story. We just got to stay ready, stay composed, and, and take it one game at a time. Vinny, a third row on the right. Jalen, Vince Goodwill, Yahoo Sports. It looks like from earlier in the playoffs that you guys didn't need Porzingis. You guys got here with a 12-2 and record and had a lot of rest. It seems like he completes you guys with the way he protects the rim and plays in the middle of the floor. Do you see it that way, that you guys are a, a complete top-to-bottom team now because he's back? Um, yes. I think Chris Pops has been great for us all season long. I mean, it's a big a big reason why we've been the best team in basketball, with record-wise at least. And having him back, you know, and him playing well to that level he was during the season is so important for us because you got another defender, another shooter um, out there that you have to respect. So that just opens it up for, for everybody else. Now, next game, I'm sure they'll make adjustments. We got to be able to read it on the fly and make plays. The guys got to step up. We need guys like Sam, Peyton to come in and step up. JT, everybody got to be ready to go. Celtic in finals history to have at least 20 points, three blocks, and three steals. What does it mean to you to showcase your career evolution on this stage? Um, it means nothing. You know, you just get ready for the next one. Again in the front. Jalen, uh, three blocks, three steals, but then also when the game got a little tighter, it looked like you were drawing contact. You got to the free throw line a few times. Can you talk about how your aggressiveness on either ends of the floor have become a big part of your game? Yeah, just trying to get to the paint, you know, uh, get paint threats that creates openings for our shooters. Just get to the free throw line, take my time and knock them down, I'll clean it up for next game. Um, but overall, just, you know, that's what I've been doing all season long, just getting to the paint. Um, and that just opens up. That puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Um, we got a lot of guys that can shoot the ball, uh, making those reads um, and stuff is big for us. So um, got to continue to maintain that throughout the season, throughout the series. Jalen, your friendship with Chris Alps-Brazingas has been well chronicled this year. Um, just as a friend and as a teammate and as someone who's been around him, what did it feel like to see him have the kind of game that he had right off the bat and have that energy? Uh, it was amazing. You know, nobody's um, more proud or more excited for him than I am, but, you know, we got to get better. I mean, we got to, you know, almost forget about it and get ready for the next one. Um, we can't we can't be celebrating ourselves. Um, Dallas is, you know, probably getting ready for the next game right now. So we got to prepare and, and get ready for the next one, too. Dave, last question. Jalen, <clears throat> Jalen Dave McMenamin, ESPN. Every basketball player at some point has to deal with an injury and had to go through recovery and rehab to get back onto the court. And, and usually we see a bit of a feeling out process. Well, you know, uh, it's, it's it takes time to get back to that same level. When did it click for you tonight that Kristaps didn't skip a beat. Yeah, and that was it the first or the second quarter? He just went on a run where he just he he, he hit the three, um, you know, hit the midi, then ran back, got the block at the rim in transition. Um, he was just making play after play and it was just like, all right, this he's he's back. It was no question about it then. So um, uh, we need some more of that going forward for the rest of this series. Thank you, Jalen. Thank you.